Hi, this is Charlotte from Yarns About Yarn, and today I'm going to show you how to make this fuzzy boa scarf. It's pretty dramatic, don't you think? Things that you require are this yarn, and I use the Loops and Threads fur yarn, and it's very fuzzy, and there's actually three strands of yarn that are wrapped together to make the one piece. And I like something, if you're looking for something besides this specific yarn, I would suggest that you look something that you can unravel like this or else it needs to be something that's really quite fuzzy. So first is your yarn. Uh, the second thing that you need are some scissors. You need a measuring tape. And um, I've used this to measure the lengths that I want to cut off. Uh, but you can use, you can just use your measuring tape or not. I, this was just a little easier because you're having to measure a lot of lengths. Um, this is actually uh, 14 centimeters wide, uh, about five and a half inches. And I used two lengths for each of the uh, pieces that we're going to cut off so that we can tie them on to this central scarf. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to take a piece of the yarn uh, which and measure it to the finish length that you want to make your scarf. And in my case, I made it 78 inches, which is I think about 150 or 200 uh, centimeters. So measure out, use your whatever measuring guide you're using, measure out the length that you want and when you get to it, cut it. Once you've done that, you are going to cut a bunch of lengths to tie on to that central piece. So you'll have your center piece and then we're going to tie them onto the center piece. So, so I didn't have to use a tape measure all the time. I used, I found something that was the length that I want. So my scarf, I'm actually measuring twice and cutting them to this length. You can use whatever you want to measure. You can use your tape measure or um, whatever you have. But uh, in this case, when I measure them twice, they work out to being about 27 centimeters or around 11 inches. So. And to get started with, cut off a bunch because it's going to take a fair number to actually fill in the, the length of scarf that you're doing. So I'm just going to do a few more and then I'll just show you how to get started on the tying. Okay, so one of the things that I really like about this yarn is that it's actually three sections that are wrapped together. So when you unwrap them, you see that you have actually three, three pieces that are wrapped as one. So I start by taking my length in half and kind of, I don't want it to end at the same at the end of the scarf I want it to end slightly above and so that is approximately where I would start my first one and I'm just going to come along here and I'm going to tie this piece on give it a nice a nice tug on it and I am going to unravel the end of the scarf and I'm going to unravel each piece that I'm tying on and it makes it very fluffy and very fuzzy. I'm going to start with my next piece and I'm going to measure approximately how far down I want it to go. Now if you were to measure it, make it greater distance, the scarf won't be as wide. If you want it to be fluffier, 
you can actually measure them closer together. And I want mine fluffy, so I'm going to I'm going to uh, tie mine mine pretty close together here. Tie it in half, and I'm tying it tight. But because we're unraveling it, I'm not going to actually bother double knotting it because I think it's going to stay pretty pretty good. But depending upon what your yarn you're using, you might want to double knot it. So you just keep continue to do that to fill in the scarf. Let's pull them snug. Un untwist the ones, untwist your ends. And you can see it makes for a pretty fluffy looking scarf. And it really is soft and light and feathery looking. I think it will be really something pretty to add to a party dress or just a plain old black dress, you know, your little black dress. Uh, you could make it shorter and um, use it as a cover on a collar, a faux fur collar. Uh, it would also look really nice on a sweater. And uh, it's, it's really, I think it's really fun looking. I really like to use these on um, on sweaters or jackets. Some of my wraps that are plainer, I like to just add a little extra, and it just gives it a little fuzzy. So you just keep doing that, cutting the lengths that you have, and tying them on to the to the center, and you'll get a nice feathery fuzzy boa scarf. So I'm going to keep tying and I'll get back to you and show you what my finished product looks like. I'd like to show you the difference between these two sections. When uh, this one here, as you see, it's a little thinner and I've actually tied the pieces, oh, about, about an inch apart from each other where this side or this this one is uh, much fuller looking and I've tied them pretty much pretty much right next to each other so this is one and this is the next one and it gives for a fuller look so you can you can determine how full you want yours to look um, I like the fuller look so I prefer that for myself so here I am back. I've tied all of my lengths that I cut off onto the long center piece that I started with. Tied them in a knot and then unraveled them there because there were three strands on each to make up one single uh, length of yarn. And I got this beautiful boa scarf that will look nice on its own worn to fancy up a dress that can be made in less than an hour so hope you enjoyed this make and if you have don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on like for my youtube channel and uh, we'll be back again to show you some other projects once again this is charlotte from yarns about yarn peace and blue skies